Hi guys, welcome back to another video and we are doing something different. Um, I figured I'm going to get back into the holiday mood and do some holiday events in Roblox this year. We kind of skipped Halloween, which normally I do this in Halloween and Christmas, and we kind of skipped it. But I am in Ropets right now, which is a game a lot like Adopt Me. It has some pets, it has some hatchlings. Um, you can even collect poops from the pets. It's a little zany, it's a little weird. Um, this is just one of the houses you can buy. It, it's not like Adopt Me where you buy a house and then you have, like the house comes somewhat decorated or somewhat blank. You pick your layout of your house and then you pick how your house looks outside. And you do have some quests here to do where you can get points that you can redeem for hatchlings that help you. Um, the hatchlings will like help you get like more rare pets and better odds out of the eggs. I started doing the Christmas event already, but I will show you. This is like the outside of the house, which you have to pay for to get the upgrades. Um, the basic house I believe was this one down here um, you can use regular coins it's very easy to make money in this game compared to adopt me and some of the other games but they do have a holiday event where you can get I'm trying to say about money you can get a gingerbread house or you can get a Christmas tree and your house will look like that um, let's see there's also some really cool vehicles you can get and you can buy some vehicles with this holiday but you also have daily playtime rewards like I got more tickets for the hatchlings but you can get gems everything is redeemed in a different way here you can get age up potions you can age it up to the next slot reward eggs this is what the hatchlings come out of are the capsules if i'm going too fast i'm sorry um but you can like during the season pass th this part is all free anybody can get this top tier to get this it's a robux pass depending on how much you play it it might be worth it you get some really cool limited hatchlings like this fully age up potion fully ages up any pet any rank like, if it's a mythical pet, you can fully age it up just with one of these potions, which is awesome to do. Let's see. So these are just some of the things you can get rewarded. You can get, like, with the pass, you can get the evolved eggs, which means that they come when they hatch, they're already evolved. What I mean evolved is, like... Compared to Adopt Me, it would be like a neon. But instead of the pet being neon, it has different categories it can be. Like, it has different versions. If I go here, like this is a regular alpaca. This is one of the versions and this is the second of her. Like, you can get the starry, I forget what this is called. But you can get different versions. This was one of the Halloween ones. And this was actually... Um, if you do it twice for the limited Halloween pets, you can, it'll glow almost like a neon version. So this was uh, another Halloween pet. This is the neon version of this. These don't have different evolutions. Just the regular pets. But they have some really cute ones and... A lot of their pets are really cute. For their birthday event, they had the shiny jasmine unicorn they gave everybody for free. Um, if I get one more unicorn and I raise them all to real grown, I can try to get a different variation than the sunbeam. They just think outside the box and they have like really cool pets. Like their alouettes and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try to get enough coins and show you the event so that we can possibly hatch one of the holiday 
pet pets today. Okay, so I'm gonna be able, you can actually too, sorry if I stop myself at different places, you can teleport to everywhere on the map. This I really like. Um, okay, so I need to go and it needs a bay to get washed up. So we're gonna go to the pet shop and there's bass here. Sorry if I get a little tongue-tied, guys. I'm a little tired, and I don't know. I get tongue-tied at times. Okay. So, I can hatch this one. Let's see. This is just a basic egg. Anybody can get this. Okay, so I got a duck. Okay, so I am going to go... Oh, they need to get clean again. And then I am going to go to the hot springs. Some of these are tasks. Some of these are locations. A lot of the locations you can buy food and drink from. And they're not too expensive. Okay, so I'm going to go to the hot springs. And I will show you. Like, you can do these. And these will give you crafting items to help you earn points towards coins to get more hatchlings. So they give you little tasks you can do. And this will actually, I think it might give you candy too. I can't remember. Some events it does, some it doesn't. But you can get more coins from here. Okay, so I already aged up to Row Jr. And when I get an egg, I will switch it. Okay, so then you have like all these different cool things you can ride on if you want to. You don't have to. You can teleport everywhere. But the city center, this is where the event is. This has too many games here. And they're actually pretty fun. The only thing about this snowmobile race I don't care for is you can't go through people and they will like get you stuck. I, I try not to run people over. So if I ran you over, I'm sorry. But you just, it's, it's just a cool little game they have. Um, for Halloween, they had where you could ride a broom for when they released their beach. And it was like around their one year anniversary. They had a boat racing thing like this and the more points you get the more holiday coins you get so they try to keep you really interested throughout the event and you can normally do these like every seven or ten minutes i think and there's like no limit it's just a lot easier and faster and a lot cheaper than Adopt Me. And that's what I like about this game. Also, it is created by another mother who I think is just fantastic that they're trying to make a fun game for kids that kids don't have to constantly pay Robux for. They can be entertained for the most part for free. I've been playing this game off and on. I normally play just the events since it started and it has a came a long way. And their events are just fantastic. The map itself, it's nice to look at and the events are fun to play. And they try to give you like a good amount, like a thousand. Okay, so I'm gonna feed and then we're gonna go do the second of that which is a little bit more the controls are a little bit tighter but once you get the hang of it it's not too bad so now we just we throw snowballs the ones that are like neon are a hundred so they you get more for them but they're not hard And they are somewhat fun. I 
I knew I saw a few neon over here. I just got to remember that I can keep on throwing. I don't have to wait for it to confirm that it hit. I'm always waiting for it to confirm. And it's like, I don't have to. And that's what slows me down. If not, you could probably make quite a bit of money on this. But if there's some other holiday events you guys are like, you find that are really cool or you want to see this game more and what it's about, just let me know down below. I mean, I normally just play the events, but if you guys want to see more, we can definitely do more. I plan on trying to be more active. I'm also considering maybe live streams on a more regular basis. Life just sometimes gets hard and time is short. So I really have all the intention of uploading and I really want to. It's just a matter of if we can get the viewers and we can get the games. I mean, Roblox has been a little bit dry this point but I'm open to playing anything holiday um abbeys tycoons um seasonal I also plan on hopefully soon posting another Blacksburg build I know my last three builds were like somewhat similar, but it was a town and similar buildings, but the insides were totally different and the uses were totally different. But I do have this cool, um, it's like a mountain bunker that I've just been waiting for a couple things to like update so that I can fill in stuff so that it doesn't look repetitive. Okay, so we are gonna go. Okay, so in the city center, you can also get points by doing these presents. You can get candies. Let's see, the Christmas shop is up here. Okay, so. As I showed you the houses, this would be what your house would look like. I already bought the outside, but this is one of the choices you can have to show your property is in the shape of a house, or you can buy the gingerbread one um, after a certain time. Well, after December 15th, you can do the present. For Halloween, they had like um, double horns. Here they have antlers. These will be for gems. Normally it's like a hundred gems. Uh, you normally try to get one of each. Gems are a little bit harder to get, but you can get them in the season pass and you can get them daily through here. Um, this is just like a time rewards. You can get 60 just a day from doing the time rewards. A lot of this won't be available until the 15th. But then you have these cool vehicles. I really like the candy cane. And then like two of these aren't available till the 15th either. Then up here you have the hatchlings for the holiday. I only have enough for one. I did buy four earlier. So you just press on it. Ooh, I got a different one. Okay. So I got one that Christmas tree one. So they got Santa's, they got reindeer, elves, and presents. And these are the eggs, which I do have enough. You only have to have like 35. And I mean, they're so cute. I mean, you got a whole bunch of different gingerbread. You got the coca. The Frosta, the Frost, the Cocoa. These are what I want. I want the Unideer, 
or the snowy unideer. I really love the snowy unideer, and if you get, um, if you evolve it, it goes to a shiny or a neon, which they just look incredible. I did manage to get a owlette earlier. That's all I've gotten so far is one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the vehicle shop. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart there for a minute. And for this, all you have to do is sit here, but you can actually get coins with anything that glows with these question marks, and they help give you money. During certain holidays, they might even give you whatever the currency is. Okay. Okay, so now we need to go to the gym. And like I said, to teleport, it's fast, it's easy. And they have all sorts of, I should have went back there. I'm going to go back to that so you can see all the different um, vehicles you can use. Like, they all cost different things. Some of them do cost gems, but I mean, like, you got flying toilet, spaceship, UFO, you know, it, they are just very creative. But these are all like the different ones you get. And every event, they have different vehicles that are limited. I had a pizza from... Oh, sorry. Won't let me do it. I have the pizza from when they did their beach event. And you can color it any way you want. It costs a little bit of coins to recolor it. But they normally have a couple options when you go to get it. So I'm going to go to the cafe and this should actually, but most of their places have pet needs right in town. So you just have to go there. You don't have to go to your house constantly to do a pet need. Um, the food is not too expensive. Like the muffins, yes, they're 30, but I normally do like 25 at a time of these and then like 25 of the boba and I just keep them on hand and then you really don't have to worry these are only 20 but it's really easy to make money it's just going and doing events and then you get just from hatching your pet you get points oh I got another owl uh, or owl cat so once I finish this I will be able to get a shiny version Wait, I think I gotta have four. I can't remember. I think I gotta have four. So, I was wrong there. But I mean, check it out. I mean, the graphics, the map and everything. I mean, the map is a little bit more compacted. And when it first started, it looked more empty, but it's a good game. I mean, their events are really good. Yeah, see, I can already do the race and stuff again. But just check it out. If there, if you want me to continue to upload Row Pets, let me know. If there's another game you want me to check out or uh, games that we have done in the past that you want us to go back to, let us know. We do plan on uploading and hopefully we can do that because we miss chatting with you guys and entertaining everyone so i hope everyone has a happy holiday season and we will see you in the next video bye